Meanwhile, in Hong Kong University, a group of computer scientists has come up with facial recognition software, which is even more accurate than the record they set back in April 2014. Their new computer algorithm outperforms humans in recognizing whether two photographed faces are the same person, regardless of changes in lighting, makeup and camera angles. A couple of months ago, uh, we uh, uh, got a result uh, that uh, actually surpassed the human performance on uh, recognizing face. Uh, this, uh, although it's a kind of a sing symbolic uh, achievement, but researchers have been working on this for uh, over 30 years. So uh, it's quite exciting for us. Tang's research started out purely for fun when he was sorting through photographs of his son from birth to 10 years old. But now, big companies like Google, Facebook, IBM and Microsoft are also interested in facial recognition technology. We try to develop a computation model, try to uh, detect and track and analyze the behavior of the crowd and predict the potential crowd disasters. But the traditional way, uh, the video surveillance, they only focus on a small number of objects in the very simple environment. And now what we are doing, we target on thousands of objects, targets, and in very complex environment. Developers hope that the software could help law enforcement and security agencies to identify individuals amongst a crowd of thousands.